Are you in a situation where you are being told or it's being suggested to you that you go no contact with a narcissistic or toxic person? And if so, are you confused about why that would be helpful for you? Or are you struggling with it? Are you having issues around it? Let me know in the comments so we can talk it through. But let me also say in this video, we're going to talk about why no contact with toxic people is actually about helping you heal from this. It isn't about cruelty to the narcissistic person. It is about, it isn't about getting them back. It isn't about punishing them, what it's about and why go no contact. So no contact is something people struggle with a lot. Like it can be incredibly painful and incredibly difficult. And also it can make it feel like it's harder than actually dealing with the toxic person, if that makes sense. If you've gone through this and you know what I'm talking about, let me know because it'll help others to see they're not alone in this and it can help others to maintain that no contact, which is actually sometimes critical for people to break the trauma bonds and get out of toxic relationships. The thing is no contact helps you to give you space and to allow you to feel all the stuff that you couldn't feel because it's being covered up by cognitive dissonance from continued cycles of being treated and horribly or manipulated in relationships. It gives you enough space to recognize how much better it can be without the toxic person around, even if you're still looping thoughts and perseverating on the relationship. It gives you space to be yourself instead of being the person who's constantly caretaking a, a toxic relationship or constantly the one who's, you know, struggling, trying to make things better, all of that. It, it breaks the codependency cycle in the relationship because there's who you're going to be codependent with if that person isn't there. We need the other person for the co part, right? And it gives you time to have your own life to step one step after another towards something that is healthier for you, which is having that person out of your life. It's very difficult. People don't want to experience the finality of no contact, but no contact is if you're fortunate enough, and I know that may sound harsh to have that be a possibility in your life because some people aren't, then it is a place where, okay, here's the thing. This person wasn't your friend. This person wasn't good for your life. It felt like they were, okay? This person has displayed enough toxic traits where you are now so addicted to this cycle that being away from them and not talking to them feels like the end of the world. Something is off there, right? This isn't somebody who was kind and loving and supportive and wonderful and being away from them feels like the end of the world. This is someone who has been perpetually gaslighting you, traumatizing you, lying to you, perhaps cheating on you, all of the stuff, right? And yet it feels like the end of the world. It doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense logically. So no contact gives you the space to be yourself, to feel what you need to feel and to not be dealing with that other person. Here's the other thing. It, when you're with a toxic person, when you are continually going back, so say you're apart, you're broken up and you keep doing the back and forth with them. They reach out, you answer, you reach out back to them because you miss them. They answer and it goes back and forth and the relationship sort of is in this weird space of non-relationship, but you're still talking on and on and on, back and forth, back and forth. You are enabling that toxic person to continue their toxic behavior. And I know that sounds harsh, but it's the truth. Without your presence there, that person cannot be toxic at least for those moments in the day. They can find someone else to do it to, but you aren't participating in it. So you're not participating not only in your own suffering, but in the enabling of that person to continue with the behavior. And 
I know this isn't easy and it's very difficult to consider breaking off things, you know, for, for life, right. To make no contact for some people and the urge to reach back. But when you feel that urge to reach back, when you feel that horrible pain of wanting to contact this toxic person, that's the time to start filling your life with what you need for yourself. That's the time to say, what is it that I needed from this relationship and how can I give that to myself? For instance, somebody has asked me about this situation and they were realizing that never in their life had they ever felt like anyone really cared. And so they gave themselves a bit of care just in their mind by closing their eyes and imagining giving care to themselves as a child, giving care to themselves now as a friend, whatever, just in their mind. And they felt better enough to pass through that urge of wanting to reach back in contact. And at least it got them through to the next moment when that happens again, right? But it's that's what it is. It's going step by step to break the cycle of relieving the pain from the no contact by reaching back to the toxic person, because then that becomes its own love bomb devalue cycle, so to speak, right? It becomes the same thing that you're used to in the relationship. It's really important to break all of that. So if you're struggling with no contact and you need some help, please reach out for it. Okay, there's group coaching, there's coaching. This is a fantastic place for group coaching because everyone there has been there. Everyone has been there. And we talk about it a lot and help support people through it. So if you need it, check out the information in the main description of every video, okay? Um, Or, you know, peer support as well, if you prefer that route. Um, But please, know that you're not alone in this and that there is a way through and it does take time and no it isn't comfortable but it will get better it will get better and once you are there once you are no contact for enough time where for yourself and there is no time limit on it right for yourself no judgment on yourself for how long it takes to get there once you're there and you're free from that toxic dynamic of wanting to reach back to them your life gets way more expansive you are way more in a position to start healing the things you need to heal in order to have the life you want so i am lisa colucci and i will see you guys next time take care bye bye